Okay, a quick little video about some of the changes. Uh, with touch screen, uh, if you want to do a left click, you click, but if you hold on a touch screen, it then becomes a right click. To, uh, to get around that, you click and then you move on a touch screen. And that works on every Windows program, but because if, if you push and hold, then that right click or that left click becomes a right click. So all the buttons now can you just push and hold, and they just become repeating buttons. Zoom in, zoom out, that sort of thing. The uh, zoom extent is basically easy to see a quarter section. That's what that's for. You can zoom in, zoom out, and, and see that. Uh, now you can right click the buttons, and individual stuff will show up. So you can start and stop a field view the communication settings, view the main vehicle and all that settings, go 2D, 3D, that sort of thing, uh, convert from imperial to uh, metric, yeah, that's the word, and the menus have changed a bit, you can explore fields as text files for whatever, uh, start a field, options, turn the grid off and on, the light bar off and on, polygons if you want to see just the lines, communication and your settings tools you can go directly to Windows Explorer and it takes it right to your fields so options settings something new is work switch it's either active low meaning when the switch is on it takes it to ground and it says it's a, it says it's on or if your switch is open, that's called active high. Like if this is in the ground and the switch is open, that's called active high. So you can switch active low or active high, and you can enable the work switch now. And with the uh, the work switch, there is no more uh, auto because that doesn't make any sense. But you can still turn it on manually, off and on. You know, just bring up the webcam and there you can see I've hooked up a little switch here and that's my work switch so it's in the ground now it's working and it'll still accumulate the acres and show you the acres and that sort of thing come up out of the ground in the ground out of the ground in the ground I think you get that So, turn the work switch off, and now it's back to normal again with the auto manual section control, all that other stuff. So you can just turn that on. Uh, the area, you start drawing. See a little yellow dot there shows what side you're going to draw on. So right click on the draw button, and now you can start drawing on the other side and you can select one side or the other. So that's different. The uh, pin marking, you can mark a pin, and you can mark a pin. Right click, you can choose red ones. You can make green ones. You can delete all of them. And you can select one of them. You know, slow down so it doesn't disappear. And uh, you can right click, you can either delete it or see it in Google Earth. There's your pin in your field. Apparently, I'm driving in the bush. To discard. Uh, your tools, Google Earth, you can see all of the pins rather than just the one. Well, there's points out all your rocks or whatever you want. That sort of thing. So it's got the right color that's on in Ag Open. It's got the color in uh, in Google Earth too. So, you get, so the color is correct and the numbers numbering the pins. Discard. In terms of tools, you can run Windows Explorer directly, and there's your field. You can delete and do whatever you want. So the KML files are the Google Earth files. 
and field and contour files. These are now binary files. But if you want to export, you can export as text files and there's your basic standard text file. So you can do whatever you want with those text files. So you can just export them at will. And when the field is done, you exit the field, it saves all the text files too. Okay, color. Colors, you can change the color of the field and the sections. So if you like more of a greeny field, dark green, bright green, whatever. You can make that and you can change the color of the sections to be whatever horrendous color you want. So here you can pick and choose whatever color you want. Here you want to pick, you can delete that guy. You can delete them all, whatever. The uh, reset button down here resets the distance. Click just for like a trip counter. The other thing it does is when you probably can hear the clicking in the background. Options to again. When you uh, when you go slow enough, then it shuts everything off too. And when you speed up, the relays come on. Don't think you like your sprayer nozzles on the whole time that you're standing still. So that works pretty cool now too. Fields closed. Relays are off. Now you can do reset all. Really reset everything? Yes. Program will exit. Please restart. Voila, now we're back to whatever colors and sizes, and now it's a three position again. It just everything defaults, and it's just like you started the program brand new. So everything's reset. Start a new field. We'll open the one that we had. See? We were doing a two section because we had two relays. The number of sections doesn't match this field. So the field's got to match. What you're doing and what you have been doing. It's a different machine. So you have three position, whatever. There, now you can start a new field. Whoops. Let's go back. Drop pins, do whatever you want. Now you see all the colors and everything are all reset. Reset everything. We have to attach the Arduino again, minus com 6, connect. There it is, from section port to section port, save. Under tools, GPS data. So there it shows you now, instead of cluttering up all the top, all the information is here. Your NEA sentence, what's coming in from the relay control, what's going out, and now everything's off. And then if I click okay so here in serial in and out there's your work switch zero one zero one and then serial out There you go. So you can see everything that works. Cool.